And I have another question regarding these quick lift facelifts. So okay. what is what is your thoughts or you know um, concerns or anything about those versus a traditional facelift? Yeah, you know, um, as with as would be expected and as would be understandable, um, everybody is looking for a more efficient way to do things, a quicker way to do things, a less expensive way. And a way in which they can utilize the um, the physical um, talents of somebody else to do the actual work for them. Now, a quick lift is not something that I would expect a technician or a nurse to do. That is something that a mm -hmm. surgeon would do, or a dermatologist, or some medical person. And basically, um, there's a variety of of procedures that I personally lump into that designation as quick lift or or um, uh, suspension lifts or string lifts or barb suture lifts, things like that. The quick lift actually would be, uh, as I understand it, is, an, is, a, is what we at one point would refer to as a mini facelift, where an incision is made in front of the ear, it's carried around the earlobe and back into the hairline, and the skin is elevated for a variable distance mm -hmm. towards the corner of the mouth and the cheek area, and then the skin is just pulled, you know, tighter and a little and a little portion of skin is removed in front of the ear now when you when you when you compare that and that doesn't take very long mm -hmm. and initially they look pretty good because there's swelling and there's a little tightening but as the skin relaxes and stretches back down again and the contents beneath the surface of the skin become more visible all over again you don't really see enough of an improvement most of the time uh -huh. for me to f ever feel like that's adequate. That certainly cannot be compared to a surgical procedure where the skin is elevated and then as a second layer, we, we drop down to a deeper layer called the SMAS, uh -huh. which is a muscle layer, and we elevate that SMAS and we pull and, and tighten that SMAS a little bit and reposition you know, the muscular elements of the face. And then we redrape the skin over this pulled and tightened deeper layer, and we remove skin from that that skin that face as well, the skin of the face as well. So those kinds of maneuvers take a lot more time. They take a lot more uh, of an effort. Um, we are combining that with uh, sculpting the smas by suture application of the mound of the of the, and we're adding fat grafts to the face not to the lips, but to the other areas of the face that are not so dynamic, that don't move as much. And these kinds of maneuvers um, that we're doing now are are entirely more sophisticated than a simple excision of skin or uh, some type of a suspension suture type of a technique where you're passing a thread, a thread lift, they call it, mm -hmm. into the cheek and curving around and pulling it back and tying it, that, that kind of stuff. Um, I've never seen uh, to be as efficacious as the more invasive facelifts that we're doing. Now, even laser resurfacing will tighten the skin a little bit, but nothing like what a facelift can accomplish.